<laughs> ben Bernanke gave a speech out there, which I think was a kind of last hurrah for the central bankers. He argued that monetary policy will be able to do it the next time. I think that's pretty unlikely, given that in recessions we usually cut interest rates by five percentage points, and interest rates today are below uh, two percent. And I just don't believe that quantitative easing and that stuff is worth anything like another uh, three percentage points. So I think we're going to have to rely on putting money in people's pockets, on direct uh, government spending. I think that's okay in a country where public investment and infrastructure are decaying uh, so, ba uh, so badly. But I think that's where we're going to have to look for our countercyclical energy. And what Olivier Blanchard and I were talking about when we discussed uh, semi automatic stabilizers was the idea that rely rather than relying on Congress um, to organize itself to act each time there's an economic downturn, we should do more with rules that would lock in changes in spending, perhaps greater assistance to states, perhaps more assistance for people who are unemployed, perhaps working off a backlog of infrastructure investments, perhaps giving temporary tax credits for those uh, who spend. And that that kind of fiscal stimulus is going to have to be a larger part of the story.